Headlighting on the local news today is a small-time local lover who has recently been identified as the next hottest internet sensation just by talking about anything and everything under the sun, the moon, and the stars. I'm just kidding, you guys. Hi there once again. This is another fine and lovely Sunday, and I am Sheila, your average, not super awesome, fairly interesting, next-door local vlogger. And today, we are on a new little studio, as you can see. My very supportive partner has put up these very lovely uh, wallpapers. And I, they definitely have my vibe, my kind of vibe. So I am extra loaded today and extra excited to put up my next vlog. So in relevance to my intro today, what am I going to talk about? Um, a lot of people uh, in my journey through life have opened up to me and said, how do you do that? How are you able to speak in front of people um, in such a confident, fearless kind of vibe. And to answer or respond to that particular dilemma, what we'll talk about today are overcoming your public speaking blues. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm going to put up a very quick disclosure. Again, I am not an expert on anything at this point. I am simply someone who has a certain inclination on anything about communication and has the intention of hopefully helping anyone out there who might have some of these challenges as well to hopefully overcome that kind of inhibition and to hopefully come up as or come out as better communicators overall. So these are humble opinions and thoughts and again it's up to you to decide whether it's something that or there's something that could help you or not. So, what are my tips for you to overcome your public speaking blues? Because my background is blue. <laughs> so, um, number one, preparation is always the key. So, do a little research, uh, study a little bit, uh, prep reasonably guys because too much preparation would also not be very good for you so let's just say that you're called to speak on a certain event um, where you're gonna have a little audience which could be more than one so definitely like a little group may that be a group of 50 100 or maybe somewhere in between or probably way bigger than that so that is then your uh, first public speaking stint. So what you're gonna have to first do is to find out what you are expected to talk about and based on whatever that topic is, of course you'll do some research about it so you have a solid material you can focus your talk on. And of course, um, ideally, at least a week or probably a few days before that talk, you have to at least be able to mentally prepare for it and that is by researching and knowing what you will be talking about. Second is um, you will then have to build and create your mental stage. What do I mean by mental stage? You're gonna have to let your mind know that you will be there for a reason. You've been called out for a reason because you got something to say. So therefore, you will be creating that stage where you're gonna have to accept that you will be a star on of for a certain duration and that people will be listening to you will be counting on you to talk about something that would hopefully make sense and would hopefully help them out for any particular purpose so setting your mental stage involves mind playing or rehearsing running through your actual speech in your mind or if you're someone who would like to really um, purposely create like a mock a mock stage where you would physically stand up and just talk to the wall or just an empty room but just mentally imagine how your stage will be like and try to run through your speech try to go through it and 
mention the points that you intend to mention and try to redo or recreate those moments probably for a good number of times until your tongue will get will tune in will harmonize or you'll get to the vibe of whatever your speech will be like so play that mental stage um, for a reasonable number of times until you feel that you've become attuned to what you are um, you will set up to do and lastly um, connect with your audience so you have to remind yourself that these are not robots and uh, these are people who have the same emotions and thoughts as you are regardless of where they are what their role is in the community maybe may they be some leaders uh, people you look up to or may they be your colleagues or people you work with on a daily basis whatever they are really they're humans at the end of the day so you just have to know and remind yourself that these are humans and that they will bear with you you don't have to really be spotless perfect um, just so that you could get your message across people will listen to you with their minds and hearts and remember that they have they have hearts and that they'll journey with you in your talk so you don't have to think that you you're being executed <laughs> Uh, you don't have to feel that you'll be judged and punished. You just have to think that you're there because you have a message to deliver and that people will want to connect with you as human beings. So remember to connect with your audience. I think that will be it for my blabbering today, at least for my communication section. And maybe if I still have more energy for the day, I'll come up with some more exciting videos to add to my channel so i hope that i finally get your subscri subscribing vote if i said that right so that we can continue to grow our channel one step at a time no pressure really guys but if you feel like it then i'm gonna come up with a lot more of these of these videos i'm doing right now um i hope you all have a rockin sunday and i'm just gonna enjoy a little cup right here because i've done my little bit for today so enjoy everyone. Go, go, go. Fight, fight, fight. Bye.